Hello and welcome to part 5 for the Java MTA prep course. In this section we're going to be talking about debugging and in this video we're going to be looking at the differences between runtime errors and compiling errors. So one of the key benefits of Java is that it can run on many different platforms. So how that works is you have your Java code and then when you're finished with your code you compile it so what you're actually doing is you're making a Java bytecode file and this file this bytecode file will allow you to um, send that file to you know different computers and they'll be able to run it directly without having you know the IDE that you use to run the original Java code however when you are changing your Java source code into that bytecode, there can be compile errors. And these compile errors can be seen by the red line underneath it or problems when you try and run your code. So if you get compile errors, your computer will just stop and you won't be able to make or run any of the code. Once you've compiled into a bytecode, you're then allowed to run it. So this can be then uh, you can then run the bytecode in multiple platforms but sometimes you might have a error in while you're running that code and these are called runtime errors so there are two different areas errors that you need to get familiar with um, in the MTA Java now when you have a compile errors we're just gonna quickly have a chat about what kind of errors that you need to get familiar with and mostly it's syntax errors. So things like missing semicolon, um, any kind of brackets, missing any brackets, or any um, quotation marks that are being missed, bad names in terms of variables or methods, um, not linking up the class with the Java file name, so the naming errors there. Could be type checking errors where you've identified a variable as an integer in fact it's a string or a problem with your incorrect method signature so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be throwing some code at you and you're going to be trying to identify um, what is the error or what are the compiled errors and how you would um, fix them and then in next in, in the next video we're going to be looking more about runtime errors and usually these runtime errors take the form of exceptions. So in the next couple of videos, we're going to be talking about exceptions and how we deal with an error that occurs when the code is running and working. Okay, so we have some code here and we have some questions. What I would like you to do is see if you can answer the questions and then we'll go through it. So stop the video now and see if you can answer all four questions. Okay, so hopefully you've stopped the video. Let's go through them and uh, look at the answers. So as you can see, there are a load of red lines. This means that it's a compile error. So if you try and run it, it will not be able to do anything. Um, there'll be a number of errors and the IDE will stop you. So let's see how many errors we can spot and how to fix them. So if we look at line three, um, we have a public class name here, but it does not match that file. So we have that first error, and to fix it, we would have to change this class name to match the file name. On line five, we have two errors here. From You can see the data type here doesn't match the value that we're storing in it, so we would need to change this to the string. Also, we don't have a, a variable name, so we need to include an additional variable name to get rid of the error. On line 6, everything is fine. On line 7, we can see that there are two errors there. Um, first of all, we're missing that bracket, so we need to add that bracket. Also, there is no such thing as second method. The, the computer will not be able to find it. So the only method we have is the method method. So we would need to get rid of that uh, second part for the computer to link those up. On line eight, we have two more errors. Um, what we can see here is we're missing that semicolon, 
but also we're using this if keyword as a variable name. So this is called a reserved word. So things like an if because of an if statement or a switch because of a switch statement, you should not be using these kind of reserved words for your variable names. Um, your computer will not like that. If we go keep going down, uh, line 9 is okay, line 10 is okay, line 12 we are occurring a return type error. So if you look here, this is not expecting anything to be returned, we don't have a return method, so this should be void. So that's another error, so the method signature is not correct. Number 14, we have two errors here. Um, so one of the issues here is that if we have an if, we need to put the if into brackets, which should then solve our line 15 and 16 problem. But the other F error is the scope of our variable. So the computer cannot see this variable, even though it has been initialized here. So for us, for the computer to see it, we would have to put this variable into our parameters for that method and then connect it up from here and that would uh, that would fix the scope issue so here is the scoping issue it will not be able to find that variable and I think that's all our errors so we have 10 errors here hopefully you found each of the errors and you are you understand why they happened and how we corrected them so that's the end of the video for this one. If you join me in the next video, we're going to be looking at runtime errors and exceptions. So before you go, have a think about these maybe bigger questions. So are you able um, to talk about some common compile time errors that you encounter? Are you able to explain the difference between a compile time error and a runtime error? And if you can answer this one, you have a great understanding of this uh, topic and it would be great for you to add a comment in the uh, in a comment below so are you able to explain one exception that you've encountered in your programming so as always if you found this video useful subscribe or like and if you feel that you can add to any of the things that we've talked about please leave a comment below otherwise I'll see you in the next video bye